What they do, what it is, this is Orion, a.k.a. Brass Balls. Deep Dive Tape Stash is a web episode series that feeds your cravings for musical knowledge. And I am here to give you all of that and then some. All I ask is that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment, like, reshare. I appreciate all of that. Now, if you got anything to say after I'm done with this, let me know. And without further ado, this is the Cameron episode dedicated to a single that he released in 1999 let me know was the lead off single for his second album sde sports drugs and entertainment now cameron stepped in the scene in 1998 he had an album out confessions of fire had a hit with that horse and carriage you might remember that featuring mace he also had another hit under his belt 357 where they sampled the magnum pi sample yes it was that one and in this era man i gotta say i was not a huge cameron fan but what definitely sold me on cameron was a freestyle that he had on 96.1 fm that was the station that uh dj khaled and matter of fact he was dj khaled's guest on that episode and homie went all out with his freestyle was it like the most impeccable freestyle black thought type shit on funk flex absolutely not but was it dope? Yes, it was. And you can actually peep that freestyle on my YouTube channel because it made it through my tapes. You know how it was back in the days. You was recording as much as you could. And that actually made it through and I digitized it for all of y'all. So go on my YouTube channel, Orion Hip Hop, and you can peep that uh, pretty dope uh, Cameron freestyle. Now, let me know, like I mentioned already, was the leadoff single for SDE, his second album. It sampled the Monday Night Football theme song. And hell of a fucking job, let me just say. I think this, this was a stellar production. The producer is Darrell Digger Branch. Most notably for his production to 50 Cent's Many Men. He's also the dude that produced the 357 track for Cameron when he first arrived on the scene. But he had a heavy hand on the SDE project, which I, I dig the SDE project from Cameron. Sports, drugs, and entertainment, God, it's bangers, man. Uh, Losing Weight featuring Prodigy, which was also produced by Darrell Digger Branch. That's one of my favorite joints on it. Uh, Where I'm from is, out, is actually a really dope beat to me as well. So, you know, hats off to Darrell Digger Branch on this production because I loved what he did with the sample. Really knocked it out the park. I remember the early promo for Sp Sports, Drugs, and Entertainment. They took the NBA logo and gave the dude a gat rather than uh, a ball to my memory. I thought that was dope. I always thought that was dope. And, uh, you know, I wanted to touch on this particular song because of the fact that Cameron is such a big sports uh, head. He's a baller. He's, he's, you know, played collegially, I believe, in all of that and was was real baller status in new york as well and we are approaching the nba playoffs my dear miami heat are in the playing tournament they're the eighth seed yet again for another year hopefully they can duplicate the magic from last year in that cinderella story of adventure that was the nba playoffs of 2023 now this tape i bought at a walgreens and You've heard me mention the Walgreens before. This was a Walgreens I was frequenting because of the fact that I worked at the movie Go in Hialeah and I would often go there and, you know, get something to eat or just go there and, and rummage through the tape cassettes. And like I said, I wasn't a huge Cameron fan at that time, but on the strength of his freestyle, I was like, you know what, man, I'm gonna cop this tape. Fuck it. Maybe I like this joint. And I actually do dig this joint. And it made me buy his entire album, uh, SDE, which I think was a lot better than his previous album, Confessions of Fire. Now, the tape cassette itself has the dirty version. It's got the radio version, and it also got the instrumental version. Years later, I'm talking about 2010, George Sedano, the sportscaster, he was on 790 AM. I had a plug with him and he wanted a theme song and I recorded a freestyle to this very, let me know, instrumental. I gotta find that joint. I know I have it in the in the hard drive. I'm gonna dig it up and uh, maybe uh, in, a, in a couple of days from now, I'll put that up on my YouTube as well so you can peep that uh, promo that i did shout out to george sedano's and the good people at 7 90 a.m because they played it a whole bunch of times and stuff uh so shout out to them you know i love the fact that cameron and mace had a re-emergence in in just of, of recent times 
and that they're doing their thing and their show is hilarious their friendship is uh seen through and through these are two brothers that like were going at it literally like five six years ago was on tracks and everything dissing each other and to see them re-emerge and to see them uh forge their friendship ahead is really dope cameron's always been hilarious to me he's got tracks that are just funny joints and you know on sports drugs and entertainment the fuck you intro the the chicken the chicken song is you know he's just got funny lines bro and another thing i, I liked about cameron was he had the jay-z swagger jacker uh th- i thought that was genius he has this nas story that is hilarious and just the way he says it so he's always been a character to me man shout out to cameron shout out to uh darrell digger branch let me know was a banger like like i've already mentioned go peep this track on spotify and all of that thank you for uh tuning in once again make sure you subscribe make sure you like repost all of that and i usually only do one deep dive tape stash episode a week but given that saturday is 420 i got a special deep dive tape stash that i'm gonna get into on saturday so tune in i'm also gonna be djing at 10th level tavern an all vinyl set this saturday 420 you know what it is this is o ryan aka brass ball signing out peace